Okay, uh, crazy milling people, afternoon. Uh, Ava's doing her ballet exam, so I'm doing some tinkering. Anyway, I've made some uh, simple, uh, subtle, but significant mods to the milling bed for anybody who's bored or mad enough to be interested. Right, uh, the problem I was having before, uh, here's some glass, three mil, you can see I've been milling circles out of it. The problem was that it's a, it, in order to mill through the glass, I've got to mill into, into foam. Uh, now the problem is this whole bed was full of water and this foam is pretty buoyant and all the gla although the glass is reasonably heavy, the foam is buoyant enough that over time and under vibration the glass was tending to ride up the side of these supports. These supports are here um, to stop, to stop the, ma the glass moving uh, in the X or Y direction but at the same time not, not putting any um, stress. You can't clamp the glass as I found out before because as soon as you start trying to mill it, it just it will just snap or shear off. You can't, you, can't, you can't put any pressure on it this way, so your clamps don't work. Anyway, so uh, you probably can see here, um, mm, one, two, three, and then a one, two, three, uh, a couple this end, and just about to see up there. Uh, what I've done is I've taken some um, 15 mil by mm, possibly two mil uh, aluminium strip and then bolted it behind these aluminium uh, une unequal angles. Um, so what I've effectively done, uh, let me screw over. What I've effectively done down here is formed a pocket or a rebate about two mil deep and about seven and a half mil long. So the glass is now sitting in this rebate. So now not only is it locked X, X and Y, but it's also completely locked in the Z plane as well. There's no way that glass is going to ride up, and it's completely flat all round. So when I fill it with water in a minute. Um, not only now do, is the glass deeper in the tray, so I don't have to put so much water in and less chance of it spilling, but also there's no danger of the glass riding up and leaving uh, dry spots. If you get a dry spot in this glass when you're milling and you don't notice it, then the cutter or snap will burn out in a matter of minutes. So it's got to be completely submerged all the time. Anyway, so I'll, I'll give it a crack and uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident it's going to work. I've still got to keep on bolting it every time I want to take it out. It's a bit of a faff, but um, it's better than uh, spending an absolute fortune. Uh, buying pre-milled stuff. Anyway, I uh, hope you like. Um, yeah, all good. Cheers. Okay, campers. Well, that's um, that's worked reasonably. Well, it's worked very well actually. Um, the glass didn't rise up. Let's get get rid of this cutting bit. Hang on. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, no shift. Much less vibration. And there is our 52 mil glass circle so uh, and that's uh, that's worked really well you can I can tell the glass hasn't shifted because it's come round and apart from a tiny little a tiny little um, bit there a little burr on the top top corner what corner it's glass it's circle no corners uh, on the edge uh, which I'm going to need to uh, just grind off uh, is uh, yeah that's, that's brilliant so all good anyway um, thanks cheers